Miss Melody, you and the defendant are separated and living in different states because he says he's not the father of your nine-month-old baby, Savannah. You've brought him to court to prove your case and demand he move home and be a father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Smith, you say the plaintiff's continuous lies and infidelities are proof that you are not the father of her daughter and you refuse to move back in. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Melody, how has this all affected your family? Well, he's... We live in totally different states. He's hundreds of miles away from us. My girls ask for him all the time. Um... Sorry. It's okay. Take your time. He moved hundreds of miles away? Yeah. We live in different states. Like, we don't even talk on the phone. We talk through it. When we talk, it's on Facebook. No, no, no. I moved hundreds of miles away because no. when my baby was born, she came out five shades too dark compared to me. I mean, no. we're both very... She was two months no, early. No, no, We're both she very white. two months early. I wasn't fully dilated. When she came out, she was bruised. She's not a different color. Yeah, that's the excuse you like to tell everybody, but... No. You... No, I, I have the pictures here. He hasn't even seen our kids in uh, months. He's been gone for months. No, you, you he can see. He doesn't call. It. He doesn't help. I'm doing it all by myself. How did this relationship get so broken? I, to the point where you're moving away from your children? Yes, I've, I've caught her um, talking to people on several different dating websites, like no. Craigslist. I need to know the specifics. Tell me exactly what happened. Okay, Your Honor, I was going through her phone, like normal, I believe normal married couples do. They check, um, check up on each other's stuff. I mean, I do. They only, know. But only because there was a history of infidelity in the relationship. Ha! Now, now I'm getting the facts. So yes. you've had a history of infidelity in your relationship? In the marriage, too? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so you were doing a little investigation. Yes, Your Honor. So, going through her phone. So I'm going through her phone, looking, and I see that she's talking to some guy. So what do I do? I pick up my cell phone, I call him, and I say, you know, hey, who is this? That's when he tells me, oh, I had an ad on Craigslist looking for a girlfriend, and uh, oh. I buy, my wife, I buy cars Ashley, off of is Craigslist the one. And I fix them up. We, did, we used to do it together. We buy and sell, we buy cars, we sell them, we fix them up, we sell them, we make money on it. So this was a person, out, if he had an ad on Craigslist for a girlfriend, that's his business, but that's not why I contacted him. Problem. You contacted no problem. him because of a car? Yeah. And so Mr. Smith, in this ad, describe to the court exactly what you saw. I never saw the ad, that's what he told me it was. He told me the ad was that he was searching for a girlfriend and, and what else did he tell you? Nothing, really. I mean, after I started questioning him, that's when he shut down. He would not answer me. He hung up, and then he would never answer my calls again. So I really don't know to what extent that went to. But, but your spidey sense... Yes. Told then... Me, told me there was more. Told me there All was right. more. Right. So, Ms. Melody, why is it when your husband called him to ask about his Craigslist ad, he wasn't like, yeah, man, I got a car to sell? I mean, I don't know. We weren't, like, together. Okay. Yeah, okay. we, we ended up talking. Yeah, we ended up talking. There we go. But so it, let's just get it to the didn't truth. It did start off like... Okay. Look, let's just start with the truth. You called him, maybe about the car at first. Yes. But then you kept talking. And how did that conversation go? Um, we were supposed to go out for drinks. We were supposed to meet up. We never actually did. Oh. Okay, now we're getting... It. Look, yep. that's it's why good. we're here. You don't come all the way to paternity court to come up in here and tell a lie because at the end of the day, the DNA is going to show whether you're lying or not. I, w I went through her no, phone and no. I seen she was talking We weren't to together. So we again, just together. like I did the Craigslist guy, I called this guy off my phone and he didn't want to talk to me at all. And you know what? I'm at the point in the relationship where I'm like, you know what? I really want to know what's going on. So I sent him $100 cash for him to tell me, just tell me what's going on with you and my girlfriend. So you call her ex? Yes. And he took your money. He took my money. And, and he told money. you. And he sent me the pictures. What'd he tell you? He didn't say anything. All I did was send me the pictures back that she had sent him. Wow. Yep. They were all topless nude pictures. Recent pictures? Yes, Your Honor. No. She actually sent me the same ones. Oh! Oh, boy. So, Miss Melody, you smiling, so he's not lying. <laughs> oh. There, there's so much more to it that... He's, yeah, he's gonna give his part. He's not gonna bring up what he had done. And I really don't wanna, like, bring that up right now. But, yeah, he knows what he did. He knows exactly what he did. And he cheated on me with 
with many people. Okay. And he's just in here trying to act like he's the such a good person. No, he's not. Okay, we've uh, all we've all made our mistakes, but before. Well, let, me, <laughs> let me be clear, just so you know, Miss Melody. Um, I don't think for one minute either one of you are angels. Uh, what I'm trying to figure out are the circumstances surrounding the issues relating to the paternity claims. So you sent the pictures to this ex, right? Mm -hmm. Because you all had a falling out. Were there only pictures sent or was there also a sexual just, encounter? No, just pictures. So, Mr. Smith, when you, when the guy sent you back these pictures, you thought she may have slept with this guy too? Yes, Your Honor, and I just recently found out that right around the time that she sent those pictures to him was when he actually came into town, right around the time she got pregnant. No. You have tattoos of the children's names on you? Yes, Your Honor. The kids you now say you don't think are yours? Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> well, what day did you get the tattoo? Huh. I the point them. of that question is, is you, as you all talk, it's like you're off more than you're on. Right. But you're married. Yeah. When you're married and you have an argument, you're not broken up. It's, you just had an argument. It's more like we're roommates with kids. I mean, that's how it's been. No, we're, then why get married? I want my kids to have their father. I want us to be a family. I didn't the, have... The, the bottom line is if the kids are not mine, I want a divorce. I mean, I have the I'm, papers here. I'll go ahead and sign my half of the papers. If, if they're not mine, that's it. Good, I'll sign it too. I'll sign it even if they are yours. If you're not gonna step up, then whatever. So, Mr. Smith, you're over there. Jerome, hand me that paperwork he just signed. <sighs> I'll sign it too. You can hand it to me. In the case of Melody versus Smith, as it pertains to nine-month-old Savannah Melody, Mr. Smith, You are Savannah's father. <laughs> no. Oh, you're gonna be falling. Oh. No, I'm but so all glad. he's missed out on all this time. There, you know, Savannah's crawling now and he's missing out on all of it. You are take, missing out on some very important moments, Mr. Smith. Yes, sir. I really hope we can work this out now. I mean, now that I know for sure that they're both mine. So... I mean, if you're willing to work it out, I am. What did I hear, Miss Melody? <laughs> I, yeah, I am. You're willing to work things out? Yes. So with that said, I have your divorce papers here. You can, you can keep them, Your Honor. I can keep them? Yes. So I can rip them up? Yes. All right, can I rip them? All right, I like it. That's what I want to hear. Miss Cleveland, you say your 18-month marriage is in jeopardy because your husband denies he's your son Hunter's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You have no doubts, and you are desperate to prove he is the father and save your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Cleveland, you admit that your wife was unfaithful and you have good reason to doubt Hunter is yours. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Additionally, you have petitioned the court for a lie detector test for your wife to determine the extent of her infidelities. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Cleveland, what is the state of your marriage right now? Um, our marriage are, is currently on the rocks. We argue on the daily. I see him treating our son differently than he does his daughter, and it I, bothers me. I try not to treat him any differently. I try to treat him like he's mine. You said you try to, Mr. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it, it's, it's a little hard sometimes. I'm not going to lie, Your Honor. I mean, there's that thought there that he is not mine, and that makes a person really emotionally upset. There are times that I'm holding him, and I look at him, and, you know, I don't see me in him, and I have to set him down and walk away because it's just... It, he it's is only one and a half years old. He has a whole life to grow and to <clears> get more... <throat> Features that resemble my husband. Yes, he does, but he is so young. The handsome. He can guy. grow to look like me, but I just I don't see it. I see <laughs> so many features. Of it. I see so many features that aren't me. And so you just wonder. don't see yourself when you hold him. When did you find out you were pregnant with Hunter? I found out two weeks before we got back together. And once you found out you were pregnant, you all reconciled. 
Yes, yes, you decided yes, to reconcile, Mr. Cleveland? Yes, Your Honor. And why is that? Did you reconcile because you believed Hunter was your biological child? Yes, Your Honor. And oh! I, I talked to her belly every day, you know. I, 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 went, I went to work, you know. I sung to him while he was in her, in, in her belly. I played him music. You know, I talked to him. I, I went to work to provide things for him, you know, his crib, you know, to get everything set up before he came along. So how did it go wrong and get to the point where you didn't believe this child was your child? A month after he was born, she informed me that he could possibly not your be Your Honor, mine. that is not true. Yes, you are it not, is. That is not true. I told him the first month I was pregnant that it could be him now, or his friend. Now, now... Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, don't just gloss over that. You told him a month... What did you say? I was a month pregnant and I told him it could be his child but it could also be his friends because me and his friend had a sexual relationship. No, she didn't, Your Honor. Otherwise, I would not have stuck around through that pregnancy if I knew there wait was a minute. He told me So, he wait. One. You had sex with your husband's friend? He was my friend uh, initially before I knew they were friends. But yes, they were <clears> friends <throat> also. You wow. basically informed him that the father of this child could either be you, my husband, or your friend. How do you end up sleeping with his friend? Um, his friend was giving me a different lifestyle. He was cleaning my lifestyle up. Um, I was involved in church every Sunday. I wasn't out running the streets like I was with my husband at the time. I was doing something with myself and it made me... You were going to church every Sunday and you end up sleeping with your husband's friend? No. (laughs) No, Your Honor. (laughs) No, Your Honor. I mean... She liked that he had money, Your Honor. I, Your Honor, I was that's down, not true. I was true. at a down and out point in my life, and I was in a financial Your Honor, that's crisis. Not true. And he, she liked the fact that he had more money. He, he didn't even have a he, job, Your Honor. I don't know what they were so, spending the money Ms. on. So, Miss Cleveland, but... what was it about this relationship that attracted you? Because you had unprotected sex with this person. Yes, yes. And Your Honor. that's why you had to admit to Mr. Cleveland, your husband, that this child may not be your biological child. Yes, Your Honor. I, um... Was it just one time or were you all in a full relationship? Um, no, it was just once. It was just a one-time thing. I felt horrible about it. My heart was with my husband. I love him with all my heart. And I knew that it was wrong for me to be having sexual relationships with him when I didn't even care for him. If he's not mine and if the lie detector test proves that she is lying, I'm afraid this marriage is going to be over. I, I can't continue to do this. I really can't. Miss Cleveland... Yes, Your Honor. The stakes are high here today. You were asked if you had sexual intercourse with the man you admitted to kissing recently. You said no. The lie detector determined that was the truth. (laughs) Thank God. (laughs) Thank God. Are you okay, Mr. Cleveland? It makes me feel a little better. I told you. (laughs) Mrs. Cleveland, you were asked, since you have been married, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone besides your husband? You said no. Yes. The lie detector determined that was the truth. Good news, Mr. Cleveland? Yes. That, that makes me feel a little, better, a little better about the situation. It does. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Cleveland. Yes, sir. You. Are not the father. I thought so. I really thought so. I mean, I, I can, I just, I see it. I, mean, I, I, I strongly looked at a lot of pictures and made myself want to believe that he was mine, but I just knew he wasn't. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Miss <laughs> Cleveland? Yes, ma'am. You had told him that it possibly could be someone else's biological child. Yes, ma'am. Does this other person know? Yes, Your Honor. He does know. And he wants nothing to do with them. 
That's right. He wants nothing to do with his child, which is one reason that I have literally stayed through this because I know in my heart, honestly, I've wanted to leave before now, but I couldn't pull myself away from it because I knew that this little guy needed a father. So that's the only reason you're staying with me? No, it's not just because of that. I love you and I I want this marriage to work. I'm glad to find out the truth. Miss Thayer, you are here uh, today in hopes of saving what is left of your marriage. In doing so, you've summoned your husband, Mr. Thayer, to paternity court to prove that not only did he father your 19-month-old daughter, Cadence, but also your three-year-old son, Matthew Jr. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Thayer, you say you absolutely do not trust your wife and you are prepared to get a divorce today when the results reveal that either one or both kids are not yours. That's correct, Your Honor. So, Ms. Thayer, what is the current status of your relationship with your husband? We don't even have sex anymore. What married couple doesn't have sex? Um, We're young. It's the back and forth, arguing all the time. We argue so much that my son is starting to get mad and yell and repeat some of the stuff that we say. And I want to prove to him that these are his kids. I've done nothing wrong to him for him not to trust me and for him to say that these aren't his kids. And I have five kids total and he treats the three oldest kids better than he treats his own kids. And I don't feel like that's fair. Um, And I mean, this is the last resort. So this doubt is wreaking havoc in your marriage. Yeah, in my mind, uh, we're basically separated because we don't sleep in the same room no more. Uh, When we're we're around each other, she's on her phone and we just sit sit in the same house and we don't even communicate no more. So I don't feel that connection with her or the or the kids for that matter. And all of this is because of the doubts. Yes, Your Honor. With regard to the paternity of the two youngest children. Yes, Your Honor. I want to understand how this all started. When we first met, she told me that it was clear that she did not want a relationship. She just wanted friends with benefits. And I wanted the same thing. I didn't want to, I didn't want a relationship at that time. Miss Thayer, what's this open thing? You do what you do, I do what we do, we, we're in a relationship. What is that about? I've been in some really bad relationships to where I just didn't trust men. I even went through a phase where I started dating girls for a little while. So, so I what you're saying that. is this whole open thing that you agreed to was not because you wanted to have access and opportunity to sleep with other people. It was so that you didn't have to expect fidelity or expect him to not cheat. Yes, Your Honor. At some point, you find out you're pregnant. Yes, that is correct, Your Honor. And what happens from there? I didn't know what to say because I wasn't planning on having any more kids. I mean, I had three girls already, so I was already a single mom. Were you all using protection? No. Well, then you were planning on having another baby. That is correct. Why do you doubt her so much? Just because of some of the things that she says when we do get in arguments, she brings up the fact that she would sleep with somebody else. That's like puts a big, big seed in in my head thinking that she's going to go do that. And I work 11 hour days. So there's plenty of time during the day for her to put the kids down to sleep and go mess with somebody, clean up. And then I come home and give her a kiss like I normally do when I come home. So because of these trust issues, you've asked the court to administer a lie detector test. Yes. We did, in fact, do that. And I will have those results for you in just a bit. Thank you. All right. I'd like to go to your doubt surrounding Cadence. That is your younger child. You all have two children together, potentially. Yeah, because around the time that, that she was conceived, uh, we weren't really having sex. You find out she's pregnant again and immediately doubt. Yes. How are we going to have a kid if we don't have sex? So you testified earlier, Miss Thayer, that you were in a sexless marriage. Yes. I mean, when he's talking about with Cadence, I uprooted my whole life for him. So for me to uproot my whole life and do all of this stuff for him and then for him to turn around and say stuff like, I have doubts, I don't think that these are... I'm only around you. I'm not around anybody else. I don't see why you would think I would waste my time But I don't know that, Your Honor. That I'm, not, I'm not so certain that she's o- only with me because I'm not there all day, every day with we her. We lived with but his what family. he was saying is during that trip, he claims you weren't intimate. We were. We were... At least four times, we were. In, in the house that we were staying in, it was, it was my aunt's house in Mexico. So it was almost impossible for us to be intimate. You really don't trust her? Yes. What 
in the world has gotten you to the point well, where I, you I, can't trust this woman? I've seen text messages uh, between her and somebody else, old times they spent together and how much fun they had. It just leads me to one thought and she's talking to another man. He doesn't understand. I wouldn't have married him. I wouldn't, I've been in so many relationships throughout my life that I chose him to marry. This is the person that I chose to marry. This is the person and that I chose, I chose you to too. my life like, You weren't the only one. Like. So, and, but not as much as I've caught him in his phone. We were having sex one night and he rolls over. We haven't even put our clothes on yet. And he's texting another woman. He loves her. So you've never seen me text I love you to anyone else. This was after the, that after I seen the messages that she was sending. So when I seen that she this, would, that, that she wasn't that she wasn't all the way faithful with me, of course I'm not gonna be all the way faithful with somebody else. And he's just so, started unlocking his phone since we got married. He just started unlocking his phone. His phone has been locked our true. whole relationship until around the time about a month and a half before we got married. Then he unlocks his phone. That's I knew how to get in his phone, but his phone stayed locked. <laughs> Miss Thayer, you were in court today saying you have never cheated on your husband. I have never cheated on him. The only time that I've ever messed with anybody else is the break that he's talking about because what happened was when I saw that text in his phone that I told you about. I asked him about it. He just shrugged his shoulders like it didn't matter. And that's all that I got out of him. I didn't get a why. I asked him why he was doing it. Do you not want to be together? Like, what? what is the issue? I did because tell you I've been argument. a single mom for so long that I'm not trying to go into another relationship and then just be like, oh, well, I'm going to be a single mom again. That's not what I want. He's attached to my other kids. And that's why these DNA results mean so much. Because it's not just about Matthew and Cadence. Yeah. This is not boyfriend and girlfriend. We took vows to be together. And that's, I'm going to stand by those. I'm going to stand by those. These are his kids. And, Mr. and this is going to make or break us. Because you're prepared, Mr. Thayer, that you are going to leave if these children are not yours. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Thayer, you were asked in the last four years, have you had sexual contact with anyone other than the two men you have previously disclosed? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being deceptive. Question number two, since the first time you had sex with Matthew Sr., have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than him since then? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being deceptive. In the case of Thayer v. Thayer, when it comes to 19-month-old Cadence Thayer, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Thayer, you are the father. I told you. One of them, one of the I two. told you. We still need Matthew. Just because one of them is mine doesn't mean I'm gonna stay. It's I the first Matthew. time I've seen you smile today. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I have the second result for you. Are you ready? Yes. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Thayer versus Thayer, when it comes to three-year-old Matthew Thayer Jr., it has been determined by this court, Mr. Thayer, you are the father. I told you. Can I give her, her, uh, can I give her a hug? Absolutely. I love you too. I'm at ease now. You look like it. <laughs> yeah.